Hey, what's up guys? Glad it's effects here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a free intro template with Blender. I love my life. Alright, so the reason I'm actually doing this right now is mostly because I always get people commenting, you know, how to edit a template or if they can even use the template, which yes, you can use a template. It's a template. You just go. It's free. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit one. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to www.lender.org. Oh, lender.org. So make sure it says .org because otherwise it might be a virus. And now what you want to do is you just want to go download blender 2.78c and if you have a mac just do usa or wherever you're from do mac and i have windows so i'll do if you have a laptop do 32 bit and if you have a 64 bit which is a pc then do 64 bit well mostly a piece most of the time it's a pc but i suggest zip but i already have blender installed so i'm not going to do that so now what you have that installed now what you just want to do is you want to open your intro template that you've installed and I'm gonna use my duel with K Arts. So you just go ahead and open it. And then you want to play it and now okay. So if it's one of these intros that each letter is different, um if it's four letters like this, you can only do four letters. So uh you can only do four letters at the max and anything under four letters will pretty much look bad. Um but if it's a regular template, you just delete the whole thing. So you'll see what I mean. So what you want to do is click the first letter and press tab and delete it. And press your first, do your first letter. And I'm going to do, make it say glat because that's four letters. And you just do that with every letter. And I suggest you type in all caps rather than lowercase because with most fonts, it looks better. Glat, I guess. Yeah. Actually, I guess you could kind of add a new letter on there by like adding like that, but it would look bad because they wouldn't like uh, sync up properly. So I don't suggest doing that. So you, so you pretty much just have this. Once you've pressed tab and edited it, you just hit tab again, just saying, if you have that problem. And then now you just want to go to encoding. And if you have Windows, you want to click right here and keep or you want to click right here and keep this at AVI but if you have um, if you have Mac you want to click here and make it QuickTime or yeah just QuickTime and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this folder right here and you want to choose where you want to save it to and then type in right here where you want to name it and then just hit accept and then go up to the top left corner and hit render animation render animation and that should start rendering your intro this may take a few hours to render most of the time it does if you have a bad pc then it will probably take over 24 hours maybe 13 hours something like that usually takes me about two hours at the um most of the time but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you for watching and uh make sure to leave a like down below and comment rate and subscribe and all that but yeah i just wanted to make this to clear things up and uh yeah that's it goodbye